Cassavant rocker tab combination actions are generally reliable, but over time can become sluggish and inconsistent and may need some upkeep. To start the process, open the console roll top, then grasp the front edge of the lid and lift it to about a 45 degree angle, securing it with the two aluminum props inside both sides of the console. The combination action itself is under the wooden muffling box, which may be removed by rotating the two wire hold down clips 90 degrees and lifting off the box. If the action is sluggish and affects all pistons, there may be grime buildup on the shafts of the main solenoids. This can be cleaned with alcohol or mineral spirits, then relubricate the shafts with a dry film silicone spray. It's best not to use WD-40 as that may eventually become gummy. If you hear the solenoids moving but the stop tabs are not activated, it is likely that the fiber pads on the tops of the pick or selector magnets have become compacted from repeated use. Remove the two screws securing the sheet metal cover and lift it off. Each piston first energizes an electromagnet or the pick magnet which holds down its corresponding selector bar preventing it from moving as the solenoids are subsequently activated. Over time and repeated use the fiber discs on top of the selector electromagnets become compacted and smooth and can no longer hold the selector bar in place when energized. This can be remedied by flipping over the chrome selector bars as seen here and then gently roughing up the fiber disc with sandpaper for example 100 grit or by using a fingernail file. If a particular piston does not activate the main solenoids it's possible that the problem lies with the piston contacts. The keyboards must be removed to access the piston contacts under them. Grasp the stop tab panel above the keyboards, for example by using the music rack mounting blocks, and lift the panel up until the props on either side latch securely in place in the holes drilled in the console. Unplug the piston contact blocks by first rotating the hold down clips and lifting the block clear. Then lift up the front edge of the top keyboard about three inches until it is clear of the positioning blocks or dowels and slide the keyboard toward you until the rear of the keys is clear of the contact levers. Ensure that the piston cable is free and lift out the keyboard. The piston contacts can now be cleaned if necessary. You can repeat for the uh, keyboards underneath and reverse the process to reinstall. Hope this has been of help.